What is going on today, everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I am because we're back working on this thing. Well, we're actually upgrading it this time and not fixing something that's broken. So that's way more cooler than fixing something that's broken. But with that, it's a 30 year old ski and things are kind of worn out. So it's kind of bound to happen. But today we're actually putting a new handle pull spring on it to help alleviate the sloppy pole that's on it. So here's my new Blotion handle pole. There's your spring number, your barcode number for 93 Super Jet, Square Nose, they're pretty much the same through most of the years, but Blosion has it and it's replacing two springs with one. So right now this spring is so slacked out that it's not even touching anything. This one's got a little bit, no, it doesn't even have pressure on that one. But the big problem is, is this is bent and it pops out of where it's supposed to be. So it's actually supposed to be set up there and holding it on that way, but it just keeps popping out and it smacks every time I go up and down with the pole. So I'll show you how much it actually holds and it's not a lot. So that's the problem I'm having, so let's fix it. So our main goal is to go ahead and take these bolts out. There's a giant bolt with two locking nuts on this side. It runs all the way through to this side. So we gotta get that bolt out to get the springs off and changed out. But we can't take it out without this cowl off, so we're gonna take this beauty nose cone piece off, two Phillips, and it should pop right out. So let's go ahead, take those, and get those removed. Very important, these two little guys are just hanging out in the back of the cowl here. They just pop in like that, so that you don't break the plastic, you're actually pinching the metal, and this kind of, kind of rattle around a little bit. But they're loose in there, so be careful because they just kind of fall out. Now we have access to our bolts. We'll go ahead and take this side, loosen these two up, and try to pull this bolt out this way. I don't want, I want to take all the way out, I just want to get it to here so I can get the spring in and then push it back through. That way I don't have to take all the electrical, all the cables off, all this stuff should hopefully stay with the ski. Two 7 8 wrenches, pull them apart, then we start working them off. Smaller one goes on the outside, bigger one with the lock washer on the inside. Here we go, we've got the two old ones and now we're replacing with one bigger spring. These were easy to come out because they were so loose. This one, I have a feeling I'm gonna have a fight on my hands trying to get it in there. So now we've got a problem where the spring is sticking out much further than where the bolt actually is. So we're gonna have to push the spring back and it's got a pretty good amount of tension on it already just being in there. There's a little um, right up in about here there is a hold for where the top of the springs set. So these springs actually set on a flat piece up in the hand hole <coughs> and that's where the new one has to go. 
Well, the new one's longer, that's why it's forcing it down so much. So we're gonna have to get probably a bar or something to get this pushed back to where we need it. I think I've figured out a good way of getting this done. Get the bolt about halfway through. Get the spring in, get the bolt about halfway through and then pull the spring back out. <clears throat> back over the bottom lip right here. I did scratch it up just a little bit, but I managed to get the, the front started. Now I can start pushing this up and over this and then taking my um, 7 eighths, I think it's 7 eighths, my 7 eighths and working the bolt in and then work it over each spring as I come through. So I'm gonna work on getting that done now. Well, nothing's really working, so I managed to just get mad at it, push it in there, and I got it past the first one. Now I think we'll have a little bit easier time kind of turning this bolt back and forth and pushing it in. And trying to get the next coils in there. Well, that was definitely a much bigger fight than I was hoping for, but we managed to get it through. Pry bar, at pretty much anything to bend that spring. The thing you're trying to do is bend the, the short end, you're trying to bend it out and then push it down at the same time. So I managed just whacking on it with a hammer, getting it through, getting it close to the next um, spring loop where it was hanging up and then bending it down, get it kind of forced through, Make sure the top gets pushed over because when you hammer on it, it pushes it the wrong side and it makes it even harder. So push the top back and then kind of pry, just pry. That's all it is, it's just prying your way in there. And then once you get it set, get the bottom of the spring close and then just lift the whole hand pull up as far as it'll go and it'll pop right into place. Make sure everything's kind of set up. You want the top as far right as you can and then the bottom is kind of wherever it's at but as long as it's on that little lip you should be fine so you can kind of see there's this molding mark where this lip sits that's where the bottom one goes and then the top one i don't know if we'll be able to see it up in there but it's all the way over to the right and it goes right around where all the wires go up the handle pull Well, there we go, we got it installed. It was, a, it was a bear to put it in there. It was not fun, but we managed to get it installed. And now this thing is so much easier to use. The lock isn't annoying. You can sit there and just let it drop and you know it's not gonna smash, even not having the hood on. With that, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go enjoy this thing. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Sorry it wasn't the best video, but you get the general idea. Put the bolt through the spring and Get it all centered, and then you're good to go. I'm going to get it out of here. Enjoy this thing, and uh, go hit the water. Take it easy, everyone. Peace.